Well, we know that historically, as well as in the present, countries that have very young age structures, those that have youthful and rapidly growing populations, have been the most vulnerable to outbreaks of civil conflict. And it's not a simple cause and effect relationship, but we think that the demographic trends and pressures can exacerbate underlying conditions. And when this really matters is when countries and governments ignore their necessity to provide opportunities to growing numbers of young people, education opportunities, employment opportunities, prospects for better futures. One of the great things about demography is that it's not static. It responds to the opportunities that are available to individual people and to societies as a whole. And we know what some of those opportunities are. We've tried them in the past and they've been successful in many countries. One of the biggest ones is providing family planning and reproductive health services that enable women and couples to have the number of children that they choose. Around the world, there are more than 200 million women today who, don't, who aren't using the family planning services even though they would like to avoid pregnancy. Other really basic and fundamental policies that have a major impact over time are ensuring education, especially for girls, and providing employment opportunities to the large and growing numbers of young people today.